guys, Sundance again. <clears throat> Another quick video. This one, a little bit of shotgun history. When Frank Hammer and the Texas Rangers finally caught up with Clyde Barrow, uh, Bonnie and Clyde, <clears throat> he had quite an assortment stashed away in that car. And what they'd found was he really liked his Brownings. Among his inventory was a chopped down uh, BAR 30 6 rifle and two Browning A5 shotguns. Uh, both of the Browning shotguns were cut down at both the stock and the barrel, one of them shorter than the other. <clears throat> the shorter of the two shotguns was cut down oh, within a couple of inches of the pistol grip, right in this range here. And he would attach a, a piece of leather from the top of the stock uh, around into a loop and attach it back here again and he would wear it under his right shoulder. The barrel then was cut down on his two inches beyond the end of the regulation or the factory uh, magazine stock or the end of the stock and magazine. So right in, right in here. That shorter of the two Brownings by today's standards would fall under the class three weapons as a short barreled shotgun. Uh, <clears throat> and we will have a video in the future on class three weapons. They're not illegal to have. They are regulated. But with the appropriate paperwork and a federal tax stamp, we can make a short-barreled shotgun and recreate Clyde Barrow's Browning A5. He called it the Whippet because, according to his explanation to others, he could throw open his coat and whip it out because it was so short and so compact as it hung underneath his right shoulder. Uh, I do have plans to recreate the Whippet under a Class 3 SBS. However, in the meantime, what I have done is recreate Clyde Barrow's slightly longer uh, Browning A5 that <clears throat> doesn't need a Class 3 tax stamp. I've taken two inches off of the buttstock here, uh, really more like an inch and a half, uh, and I've shortened the barrel down to 18 plus. This is um, still a Class 2 weapon, no reason for a tax stamp. It's uh, fully legal. Um, uh, from an SBS standpoint. This is not an SBS. I did add this magazine extension. That's something that Clyde Barrow did not have. And so what I have is a version, my version, of Clyde Barrow's um, more tactical Browning A5 from back in the day, although mine holds seven rounds. I suppose between me and Clyde Barrow, I would have the advantage. Barrow used his cut down Brownings for some pretty serious business. Now, I'm not going to rob any banks or have a shootout with any Texas Rangers. I just wanted a little bit of history, so I recreated my own Clyde Barrow Whippet shotgun. I could certainly use this in the role of home defense or self-defense because it fits the definition of a tactical shot, shotgun. It's short, compact, short barrel, high capacity, reliable. I could certainly use this for serious business, but as you all know, not all of our guns are for serious business. Sometimes they're for play, and sometimes just to reflect a little history. So when you go shopping for a shotgun, take a minute and, and think about picking something up off the used shotgun shelf, a little bit of history. Maybe with a little tweaking and a little tender loving care, you could build a piece of history into your own personal home defense shotgun. Take care. Hey guys, just a reminder, anytime I show you a gun that's been modified in any way, it goes without saying that you should have a gunsmith check those out to make sure they're operating properly, safely, and reliably, particularly if you're going to use them for self-defense. That applies to any type of customization or repair to handguns, rifles, or shotguns. Particularly in the instance if you're going to pick up something that's a little older and not using um, modern current production weapons. So, you're messing with barrel lengths, make sure you understand the laws and jurisdictions. You're messing with the action in any way, repairs or customization, get it checked out and make sure it's going to be safe and reliable. Don't bet your life on a piece of junk. See you guys.